Hey. <laughs> a little goblin in here. I kind of want to go goblin mode. Hey, welcome to Three Floating Fight Night, our series of classic constructed gameplay. Tonight, Sam on Icelander and Jacob on Fi. Let's get right into the classic constructed game. Hey, uh, make sure you stick around for cool details about an awesome giveaway. You ready to start? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, good luck. Yes, sir. <gasps> Nice. Yes. Really good. Come on. That was what happened last time. Whoa. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Dang it. One day. Oh. I'll go first. What's up, everybody? I'm playing the best Fi, Karachi Fi. It's not the best. It's just, I think it's more fun to play. It's the best. I. I think it's the best. When you get someone really low and they're like, oh, no. And I'm just like, I got two little swords. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> That's right, give me your sink below. Post ban list, hypothermia was pretty brutal. Without that, hopefully the Karachis can put in some more work. What's up, y'all? Sam is here. He's right here. He's right here. <sighs> He's right here. He's right here. And today we're playing Icelander. This matchup before the bands definitely felt pretty 50-50. After the bands, it feels like I gotta draw some of my power cards. I'm trying something a little bit spicy today. I'm working with Channel the Bleak Expanse. I'm really hoping it'll turn off his Art of War and I can maybe set it up proactively to stop Mask of the Pouncing Links. <laughs> Three floating. Are we gaming? We're Gatterman. Gatterman. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's ride. And my tunic is gonna go to one here. This the ring my su ignition, hopping fresh out the kitchen. Mama rolling that body, got every minute he wishes. This is an interesting little first hand here. Judge, stalling. I'm gonna start things off. I'm gonna play an Aether Ice Vein, fuse it with this card, pitching. So this Aether Ice Vein is gonna come in for three, and it represents an on hit effect. I'm going to pitch this to AB1 using my Tide Flippers. Take two. And then I'm gonna use the two floating to pay for the on hit. I will then just move to my end. So here I'm thinking, do I want to push damage because I know he only has AB1, but that would allow him to filter his hand. I decided to go for it because I don't want to get zero value off my turn one. I didn't draw any cool permanents to stick on the board. I'd rather just get the life totals a little more even. I'm gonna tunic. I'm then going to pitch for Kodachi for one. Play that blizzard. I want to eat that for breakfast. They won. Or no blocks. No reactions. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Pay one. You have another Kodachi coming at you. You got three cards. It's going to be Blizzard. Icelander. <laughs> <laughs> Icelander trigger on <laughs> <laughs> you're, so, you're so red! You're so red! Uh, I'm a gamer! <laughs> I'm a gamer. You saw nothing. Hmm. Internet. The frostbite hits. Okay. Now blizzard. I'm gonna pitch this salt the wound to pay for the blizzard. Okay. Blizzard resolves. Kodachi coming at you for one. And I'll take the one. Okay. Pitch this ancestral empowerment. Go to two. And then play this take the tempo, paying for the frostbite. This does not have go again. This is coming at you for five. If it hits, I can bench top card. If it's a attack action, I can play it until the end of my next turn. But it's it's an art of war on top, so you just you probably want to let it hit. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Blizzard's a good card. I'm going to try to push forward through it with this take the tempo and hopefully take his whole hand so that he doesn't have an arsenal. Block five. That's my turn. All right. Tuna goes to two. Play on E-Strike, bottoming this card. The mode I will pick is, the mode I will pick is, the mode I will pick is. I'll choose draw card. I will, I'll say no block. No reactions for me. I will arsenal and pass. I grab a CNC off the E-Strike, which actually feels great here because even if he threatens me a lot, I can keep two cards, play the CNC, which will threaten his arsenal, and then I can pocket the second for my next turn. Tunic. Pitch a yellow rise. Come at you with a Kodachi for one. I'll say no blocks. I will then E strike you for seven, bottoming a card. Okay. Man, seven's pretty <laughs> tough. I'm gonna block for six. Take one? I'm gonna take one. 32. I will then pass and then arsenal. Okay. 
I'm going to play out a Command and Conquer. One floating. I'm keeping an Insidious Chill in my hand that I'm gonna arsenal. Sometimes it's hard to resolve an Insidious Chill in this matchup, but I feel like the CNC is gonna disrupt his next turn so much, it'll give me a window to play it and then set myself up really well for the rest of the game. Six and a big middle finger. <laughs> Block six. We like that arsenal. All right, no reactions. I will move to end. Arsenaling. He blocks out CNC here, which leads me to believe that it's definitely an important card because sometimes Fies will still just eat the six and come at you with whatever they got. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on that arsenal moving forward. Uh, I just arsenaled an Art of War, so CNC feels bad. My hand isn't amazing. I can't do a ton on my next turn. How I think I beat Icelander is I need one big turn where I can really take the tempo. I'll take the tempo. Uh, 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 uh. Tunic, brand for three. I'll respond. I got an insidious chill. Put an Icelander trigger on the stack. Mm. Good. Mm. Three coming at me. Say no blocks. Reactions? No reactions. One, two, three. Uh, tick three. That's in. Uh, draw. Scar for scar. Go in. I'll say no blocks. No reactions. All right, take four. And then, yeah, I will corner peak. I'll pop tunic for it. Cool. That's it for me. Totally forgot to look at his tunic when I set my turn up. And by activating my peak here, yes, it gets rid of his tunic counter, but what I really want is a card out of his hand. So that was that was a blunder. Tunic. I'm gonna play this Rise from the Ashes. Attempting to grab a Phoenix Flame. Float tunic. One floating. Put a cold snap from the arsenal. Targeting your arsenal. Yeah, that's fine. This, this, I will draw a card. The cold snap, I'm not gonna pay to unfreeze the arsenal because I'm not playing my Art of War this turn. The way he's been kind of using this arsenal, letting this card sit there, protecting it with the C and C, starting to get little whispers. What is that? Art, Art of War, yeah, I think it's an Art of War. Okay, you can get a Phoenix Flame here. So I'm gonna grab it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pitch this brand for a Rising Resentment. Raisin resentment beer. Hmm. Yield. Block. Reactions. An additional one. Yeah, take four. Bunk. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. I'll draw. Phoenix flame you for one. I'll say no blocks. Reactions. None of those. I have no reactions. Taking the one. I'm gonna pay one and suing at you with a Kodachi for... Where is it one? Take one. I will play this Fluster Fist for three. It gets buffed because of Shuko. Total of three? Total of three. No go again. Tough. It's three. What do you mean? I'm taking lots of damage here. I don't know if what I'm doing <laughs> is impactful enough <laughs> to taking all this damage that I don't want to take. Three. One, two, three. Um. Bang. Bang. So this is a really good turn. I'm able to get nine damage through. This is kind of like the big turn. I have an opportunity to pop mask here, but my last card that I get to hit is a Fluster Fist and it doesn't have go again. I can, in reactions, pop the Tide Flippers, go get Salt the Wound for like six or seven, but then in the rest of the game, I have no AB. I mean, I'm a gambling man, but I ain't that much of a gambling man. <laughs> All right, you're good. 22, one. I'm going to play this Winter's Bite. Discard a card or pay one. I'm a tunic for you. <laughs> you get no tunic here. I will pitch this blue snatch and pay for the winner's buy. This will be an Aether Ice Vein. Fusing it with the channel, the Bleak Expanse is coming in for four arcane, but first, clear this off the chain. We have an Insidious Chill Trigger. Let's go down to two. That's the insidious chill. <laughs> I hate you. Um, Jacob was not amused. Not amused. <laughs> no, I was so deep in thought, and I showed you guys chucking. I was like, I don't know what they're laughing about. <laughs> and then I shared, we get like super red in the face. I'm gonna discard this card for the insidious chill. Then I'm gonna AB1. Take three. Take three. Trigger. I'm then gonna pitch this to get. Two, pay for the two. Cool. Love to see all of that. 
to an arsenal this card that you have no idea what it is and pass to you. By fusing with the channel, the bleak expanse, I show him what's going into my arsenal. Basically beginning this like little staring match between the two of us because if I try to play my channel, the bleak expanse, he can respond with his art of war. But if he goes for his art of war, I can just respond with my channel, the bleak expanse. So I'm going to see how long I can kind of use this threat to power down his turns and try to win the game using my action point rather than at instant speed. Tunic. I'm gonna pitch Soul Beach Strike for a Kodachi for one. That not nah, shut up top. Dominate. We dominate. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go in the tank for a sec. I <laughs> uh, concede. <laughs> Hey, that was fun playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take one. Death Kodachi. <laughs> I fold. B1 for another Kodachi. For one. Yeah, you will, won't you? Take one. It's the end of my turn. Alrighty. This is going to be a blue Aether Ice Vein. It's going to be fused with this blue Ice Bolt. Before anything happens, there's an Insidious Chill Trigger as it goes down to one. Uh, for the Insidious Chill, I'm gonna discard this Mounting Anger. For the Aetherized Vein, no AB. I'll take three. Trigger. Um, I'll discard this Mounting Anger. Okay. I will then Waning Moon you for two. Take two. Okay. That's the end of my turn. That was still in my hand, and then one, two, three. I'm gonna Tunic. I'm going to Ronin Renegade for three. One in hand. I'll play the Blizzard. I'm gonna save you the time, I'm not gonna pay, so that's the end of my turn. But I will take three. Okay, yeah. Tunic to three. Ready the rice vein. Fuse with the blizzard. First it'll be the insidious chill trigger, and then eat the rice vein for five. I'm gonna discard for the insidious chill or run a renegade. Okay. I'm then insidious chill will die. Yes. I'm gonna A B one the Aether Ice Vein. Take four. And it'll trigger. And I'm just gonna use the two floating to pay. Okay. Blizzard is... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna move to the end of my turn. This was in my hand. It's the blizzard. So I know he has a blizzard, so I'm just gonna play my Rise from the Ashes because he can't target it with the blizzard and play the Blaze Headlong for seven. It's like a pseudo E-Strike. That's why I'm getting rid of the Run and Renegade and keeping the Blaze Headlong. I'm going to play Rise from the Ashes. Niche case where Rise from the Ashes feels actually good in this matchup. Or I know he has a blizzard in hand. Rise is good. I will Blaze Headlong for seven with Kogan. Still a good amount of damage. <laughs> We're pushing through. Dude, I feel like the game of Icelander versus Fi is like, I'm just trying to go on a run. I'm just trying to go on a run. <laughs> and you're just standing in front of me going, <clears throat> and I'm like, uh, uh, uh. And sometimes I just freeze and I'm stuck there forever. Block three. Uh, reactions? No reactions. Uh, just take four. Two, three, four. Phoenix lane for one. Take one. Okay. That's it. Red Aether Ice Vein, fused with a very familiar blizzard. This is coming in for five. I'm a very professional man. Well, let's see how we're gonna do this here. <laughs> no AB, I'm gonna take five. Okay, go 12. I'm gonna discard this uh, Snatch from the Aether Ice Vein trigger. Cool. I'm just gonna move to the end of my turn. So I'm definitely still really valuing the blizzard here. I know Videx can be pretty resource light. Successfully able to keep one in my hand as my insurance target. I'm beginning to wonder when I need to throw this channel, the bleak expanse out there. By sitting in my arsenal, it's doing a very good job of keeping him off of that crazy art of war turn, but I am just not getting the value out of my waning moon that I'd like to, and I'm finding it hard to actually take his life down, but I gotta find an opening. I'm gonna mad Soul bead. Kodachi for one. One, hmm? I gotta say though, I think Kodachi is the coolest weapon. Right? I mean, come on. Harmonized? Doof, doof. Like, that's just sick. You know that when you pull them out too, they'd make a shh. Oh, like a in, 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 ring? In, in the rings would harmonize. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's deciding because he can kill me. Oh. <laughs> Ah, that sucks. Mm. No blocks. I'm gonna take one. That is what I was hoping you would do. I'm gonna E-Strike for seven. Okay. No reactions. So take a total of one. One. To all the viewers at home. We're not stacking anything. I know this looks bad. Oh, did you get another red? I got another red. Same blizzard. Five. I'm gonna AB one. Go to eight, two, three, four. 
and then I'll pay two for the trigger. Okay. Do it for me. Uh, I'm gonna do a brand with center claw for three. I cannot kill you here. I'm gonna block three. Ravenous rabble for two, probably. For three. Revealing a yellow rising resentment. Eh. I'm gonna get one floating, go up to four. Block the rabble. Yeah, that's my turn. All right. Okay, two goes to one. I'm gonna play out. Channel the big defense. I might have a response. Totally. Just like this. Two floating. I'm just gonna do it. I drew an Art of War and I have one in my arsenal. If I don't play out these Art of Wars, they're just dead in my hand, but he still has that Blizzard and I just have reds left. So what I'm just gonna do is play him out here, kind of filter my hand, get the best four cards that I can, try to pay through the Blizzard that he still has and see where we go from there. I'm going to pitch this Rising Resentment for an Art of War. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the first one is, but I'm gonna banish this card and draw two. And we're gonna say we're buffing cards. Okay. Draw two. I'm then gonna pay one. Play out another Art of War. I might respond to this one. The thing that's like- Yeah, you go, you're good. Okay, that's cool about Wizards is like once I'm below 10, it's like, well, I kinda just lose here. Well, I have to stay alive, but yeah. But you know, hey, you never know, bro. Oh, I never know. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> um, I'm gonna banish this rabble. Okay. And I'll draw two. All right. I'll then winning win for two. Take two. Okay. Oh. Arsenal. Pass. Channel the Bleak Expanse is gonna check for a nice card. It's gonna see the winner's bite. It's gonna stick around with the float counter. Okay, we're gonna play Rise from the Ashes. Rise is good. Pitch a snatch. Kodachi for one. I'll take one. Same decision. Kodachi for one. No blocks. Take one. Hey, we're the same life. Look at that. <laughs> we're both dying hey! at the same rate. Hey! I'm gonna play a rising resentment for six because of the rise from the ashes. Go again. I'll go ahead and play the blizzard. Frostbite on the stack. So I finally throw out the blizzard. I've kept it this long. I've got to get some value out of it, but by keeping it this long, I've let him build that tunic back up to three energy counters, which is basically gonna render it nearly meaningless. Frostbite on the stack. I'm gonna pop tunic. Okay, go up. Bing. Frostbite resolves. Frostbite resolves. Pay for blizzard. So you have six coming at you. Six coming at me, two in hand. One of them is a Phoenix Land that you know about. I never ran Belittle in my main board. It was just sideboard for Icelander. Post ban, the kind of secret tech that I have come up with with help from Anthony, one of our local homies, is Rising Resentment. The on hit, I can banish a zero cost from my hand and it'll cost one less, negating the frostbite and I have this red snatch. So, feeling pretty good. Even though my life total is low and he could possibly kill me in response. Block six. Get a two block. That's so weird. I decide to block with my two red attacks and the gauntlet to keep an ice card in my arsenal so that if I draw something like an ice bolt, I can just win the game on his next turn. I'm, again, very afraid. I'm all of a sudden feeling like I'm on thin ice. I didn't even do that. I didn't I didn't do that on purpose. Pitch Phoenix Flame, play a red snatch. Pop in the- I feel feeling. This ain't good for, this ain't good for your boy. Snatch! I think I should steal one of your cards. Lore-wise, I think that makes way more sense. Just saying. No blocks, sir. I can't block it. Take four. You can draw a card. That's all from me. I will arsenal pass. My turn is also just an arsenal pass. Two to two. Tune it one. Ravenous rabble. For the love of God, please. Oh, it's four! Finally! Yes. I felt like I deserved that. <laughs> I feel like I deserved that a little bit. Let's go! And I did not draw a blue ice bolt. So, I've got to figure out a way to not die. I've heard it said that no Icelander has ever popped their Storm Striders before the kill turn and lived. So we're going to put that to the test right here. Uh... Yeah, no, I think, dude, I think I'm dead. Yes! Yes! I think I have to activate the Stormies. Pitching this. Go to three. I'm gonna play out a brain freeze, fusing with Channel Lake Frigid. Feel your hand, and then I can put a card with action card with cost zero on top of your deck. Based on my hand, you're chilling. No, I'm, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna have enough life to stay alive. I think the correct place to do this, give you oh, yeah. a frostbite before this happens. Oh, you're definitely not dead, bro. <laughs> 
play that out. Give you frostbite. You have two arcane coming at you. Take it. And then I will block four, four. I don't think you lose here at all. I'm gonna put him to one instead of keeping inertial. I'm gonna pitch two and play a take the tempo for five. No, I just die. Oh, it's two block? I did not think about that, that it would be a two block. I die. No. I thought it was like- The next card! The next card! The next one wins me the game. No. Yeah. We did not get there. I feel like I put myself in a very good position through most of this game to find the way to win. But honestly, I think I valued the channel, the Bleak Expanse, and that Blizzard just way, way too much. By keeping the Blizzard in my hand all those turns, I didn't get to move through my deck at all. And I didn't push any damage on turns that might have made all the difference in the end there. And I really messed up that last block. I was just afraid. I was afraid of the Fi and felt like I needed a damaging card in my arsenal to get that extra bit of reach. But I get way more value if I block with two, three blocks and throw the fine Doll's Fighting Spirit, gaining two life, one from the heart, one from the Fighting Spirit, and literally just threatening lethal. Uh, but I do need to say before before I get out of, I get out of here, this was our reshoot. This is our reshoot. In the, in, <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, in the game before the bans, when when all was said and done, took the W. Not this time, no. We got there. Undefeated. 2-0, baby. I think the reason that I won this game is my hero looks a lot cooler than Sam's. I hate this game. <laughs> I love it because you beat me in the one before. <laughs> it's funny and it will never see the light of day. I think we should release the three floating cut. <laughs> give the people what they want to see. I, should, I need justice. I have a trophy. It was an interesting staring match between the two of us. And he blinks first. My light is too bright. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. That was an awesome fight, you two. What? Jacob is undefeated. He is our villain now. We will beat him. But first, before we beat the villains, we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away a box of Dynasty. To enter, go to that link in the description, get your four entries, like, subscribe to the channel, comment, and go follow us on Twitter, and check out the Instagram and other social medias for more content. Um, wow, I don't even know what that voice is. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and for all the support on the channel. Can't thank you guys enough. We appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, and we're gonna beat him someday. Peace. See you later. I need some liquid. You can have my fucking milky, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Flesh and blood. Flesh and blood.